Okay, so this is the uh, login prompt for the VAX4090 running OpenVMS 7.3. Um, so what I'm going to do is give a brief demonstration of um, the deck windows environment uh, as it was uh, supplied on a VAX of this era. Um, replaced probably around 96, 97 with uh, the common desktop environment CDE which is still going to this day. Um, so deck windows was a little bit more simple but hopefully if I give it a demonstration of a couple of applications um, might be slightly slightly enlightening for some people and also a bit of a nostalgia trip for some others. So that's your standard deck windows clock. Uh, first thing you start up in the morning when you went to work um, and then usually bring up uh, deck term which is uh, the deck, deck terminal emulator VT 320 probably this sort of era possibly a 420 um, and I'm just going to run through rattle through a couple of applications um, all in one which is uh, an integrated office environment which um, was used fairly extensively uh, when this machine was uh, at the top of its game uh, and I use this now to do my uh, web pages for the retro challenge um, so I'm just rattling through so for instance uh, it stores documents in folders so uh, I'm going to look at stuff in retro challenge um, pick a document and then have a read of it uh, and the window expands itself and you can see this uh, it's a basic fix with uh, word processor um, more or less you can do things like underlining and bolding of your text uh, if I go in and edit that document you can see what it looks like an editor uh, you can see most of that there so and that's whoops plus uh, which was originally a standalone editor and then uh, integrated into um, all-in-one and you can do things like read your emails in all-in-one um, if I go to email um, and then I, I do uh, find on folders um, when I was using this system as my only system in uh, as my first retro challenge uh, I was receiving all my emails via that so uh, you can see there's a an inbox there with mostly rubbish compo SVMS so that's what it looks like when it's been pulled in from the VMS mail system and it doesn't do a fantastic job of handling Unicode because <laughs> I don't think it had been invented at this point. Okay, so that's that. If you wanted to do any graphics work, uh, view any images, then XV at the time was the program that you used. Um, it's got a fantastic user interface, um, custom design controls. Uh, and we're just going to scroll through my home directory, pick a GIF, and then load that up. This uh, this fax has got a 256 colour display so it has to um, dither anything that's 24 bit into 256 colours um, so there you go, that's an example of loading an image and um, you can you can muck around with that um, within XV make it bigger and smaller, change the colours there's various algorithms, blur algorithms um, visual schnauzer which has turned the palette horrible because um, it's captured all 200 and odd uh, available colours um, and that basically will uh, scroll through and give you a preview of all the files um, you've got your colour editor as well which is what I was looking for so that is uh, an example of colour editor you can look around with your colours by dragging your lines and turning your circles and things and uh, so that was pretty, I would say that was pretty cutting edge for image editing at the time. Um, if you wanted to get any documentation, you've got the venerable help system, um, which is available to any text based application. That's pretty comprehensive. And then um, if you wanted to get an online manual, then you went into Book Reader. Um, there's two sets of documentation. Um, we just go through if I just pick out say for instance the manuals to do with all in one um, got a few 
user documentation here. So you've got, for instance, a whoops, whoops plus user reference. So that's your library. It brings up um, your manual uh, in a separate window. And then actually reading the manual comes up like that. And you can scroll through the help. And there's diagrams in that. And uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty good stuff. So we're going to come out of that. What else would I want to show you? Um, Xfig, which I used um, extensively when I was doing my PhD. Fantastic drawing tool. Took a long time for me to find anything remotely as good when you come when it comes down to doing highly accurate drawings. So, uh, for example, um, just a simple drawing. There you go. Picture of an aircraft, and then something more complicated. One of these are both from the examples that come with it, um, involving colour as well. And uh, if you've got a Postscript, Postscript printer plugged in, this will happily convert uh, your image to Postscript and uh, print it out for you. So you can see the redraw algorithm isn't quite optimised. <laughs> it's having to redraw it several times. Mosaic. Who remembers Mosaic? This was one of the first graphical um, web browsers um, superseded by Netscape for a number of years before uh, Microsoft and others got in on the game. And what I found staggering about this uh, Especially the, the hot links on Mosaic is that virtually all of the hot links still work even now. So that's brought up the AltaVista search page. Um, so if we do just do a search, just to give you an example, search for OpenVMS. Uh, Mosaic isn't, knows nothing about CSS, so lots of uh, web pages look exactly the same. Um, I type in my own website. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Just got to show you. It's not that fantastic. Um, and then if you wanted some light relief, um, NetHack, which uh, the first company I worked at, I remember several people spent way too much of their time playing NetCat and NetHack just incredible just literally log on in the morning and just struggle to get anywhere with their work just just playing NetHack all day what a fantastic game I've only ever dabbled it dabbled it never really got that fantastic at it but uh, there's obviously something about it um, so there you go that's NetHack and The game that I used to play when I was doing compiles and stuff is X My Young, which uh, when the Vaxx is turned on, I still play now and still find it incredibly difficult to complete. But what a brilliant game! Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that um, brief demonstration of a Vaxx Station 4090 running deck windows.